Hey everybody, welcome. This is Dave Mosher, producer for Discovery Space at space.discovery.com. That is the Discovery Channel's official website all about space, and this is your weekly wrap-up where I take you through the three biggest things that happened in space last week. Um, that said, let's jump right into it here. So going to start you off with this guy right here, Mars. Yay, Mars. It's about as big as Earth. Actually, it's a bit smaller, but it's cool. You know, it's kind of lacking some important things like enough air and, and water and things like that. But still, we want to send people there. Problem is, it's a 200-day bare minimum, at this point at least, one-way trip to Mars. And that's not counting the trip back. So it's going to be about 500 days, 450 days, something like that. Well, we have never really stuck humans in a capsule that long to see if they can actually survive and not beat the crap out of each other. Hence, the European Space Agency has started the Mars 500 project. Check this out. Kind of looks boring, but look at these two tubes here. Those are like living capsules where six astronauts will live as an experiment to see if they don't beat the crap out of each other. For guess how long? 520 days. Okay, that's later this year. What just happened is the trial run. That's 105 days, so six astronauts are now locked up inside this thing, and the experiment is underway. And uh, you're probably curious what it looks like on the inside. This is really hilarious to me. Check this out. This is through the uh, opening in the, the very front of it. Look at all this wood paneling. That is really funny, 1970s-esque. I thought that was great. But this all reminds me of something. You know, sticking a lot of people in a confined space. I uh, just can't quite put my finger on it, though. Maybe you guys have an idea on what I'm talking about? No. Maybe not. Anyway, uh, second bit of news half for you guys is about Hubble, the Hubble Space Telescope, everybody's favorite space telescope. It's big, it's bad, it takes really awesome images. Well, this is the 400th anniversary this year of the use of the telescope by Galileo. You know, he looked at Saturn, saw some moons, kind of changed, shook, thing, shook things up. And it's part of the International Year of Astronomy, this event, called the 100 Hours of Astronomy. That's where professional astronomers, astronomers, amateur astronomers all got together, looked up at the sky, and did some cool stuff. Part of that event was people like you voting on which Hubble image it was going to take next. And this is the winner. This is ARP274. ARP and this is a trio of galaxies interacting with one another. There's actually two here because I accidentally cut off the, the small guy in the end there, but you get the idea. I'll have the full resolution image on the blog for you to check out. It's a beautiful image, so be sure and visit the blog. I'll give you the link for that later. Third and last bit of news I have for you is about Yuri Gagarin. Yuri Gagarin was the first guy to launch into space on April 12, 1961. And ever since 2001, there has been a big event called Yuri's Night. It's a worldwide celebration of human spaceflight and pretty much everything space. And it's a whole lot of fun. In fact, I went to Washington, D.C. this past weekend and attended a Yuri's Night party. This is what it's called, Yuri's Night. And this was at NASA's Goddard Space Flight Center. And there was DJs or rock band. There was also this. This is the Charm City Cakes rendition of Jupiter and Hubble. This is styrofoam on the inside, but this is all cake icing on the outside. This thing was spinning around, looking really awesome. Pretty cool stuff. Um, the party was just really amazing. We had a video team there. You guys are going to see video Wednesday or Thursday of this week, so don't miss it. Um, what, are, what other kinds of things about this party? Well, uh, women dressed like Princess Leah as Jabba the Hutt's slave. I interviewed one of those. <laughs> Uh, also, people dressed like this. Uh, Stormtroopers aiming guns at me. That's me down there. All kinds of other crazy costumes, weird antics. You guys have to check it out, so don't miss the wide angle on Yuri's Night this week at space.discovery.com, which is the website I produce. Uh, that said, you guys can get to my blog. That's Space Disco. It's at blogs.discovery.com forward slash space underscore disco. And if you're on YouTube, it's really easy to get to. Just click that More Info button to your right and there's a link right within that menu. Uh, that said, thanks for tuning in and hope to see you next week.